Hello children, my name is Lashanza, and today I'm going to read you a book called Sue. Sue is written by Lupita Yongo and illustrated by Vashti Harrison. Sue was born the color of midnight. Here's Sue. And she looked nothing like her family, not even a little. Not even at all. Mama was the color of dawn. Baba, the color of dusk. And Mitch, her sister, was the color of high noon. Hardly anyone at school looked like Sulway either. Can you guys find Sulway? Here she is. People gave her sister Mitch. Do you guys see Mitch? She's over here playing jump rope. Pet names like Sunshine and Ray and Beauty. Those are nice names. And people gave Sue names like Blackie and Darkie and Night. Those are not nice names. Sue felt hurt every time. So she hid away while her sister made friends. Sue dreamed of being the same color as her sister. She wanted real friends too. You guys see Sue right here sitting on her bed? What kind of animal is that? It's an elephant. Yes, it is. And this is her dreaming about her sister. Mitch makes lots and lots of friends. She got the biggest eraser she could find and tried to rub off a layer or two of her darkness. That hurts. It would hurt a lot. You see all her bobos from her scrubbing with the eraser? That hurts. You shouldn't do that one. Mm -mm. She crept into mama's room and helped herself to her makeup. Oh no. She would hear about this from mama. Look, she made a mess. She spilled the makeup. It's all over her face too. Sue decided to work from the inside out and ate only the lightest and brightest food. Can any of you guys tell me what you see? You see the bananas? Look at the bananas. She's eating one too. And bread. What else? Mushrooms and cauliflower. Even a glass of milk. With a stomach ache, she went to bed early and turned to God for a miracle. Dear Lord, why do I look like midnight when my mother looks like dawn? Please make me as fair as the parents I'm from. I want to be beautiful, not just to pretend. I want to have daylight. I want to have friends. If you hear me, my Lord, and would like to comply, May I wake up as bright as the sun in the sky. Amen. See, she prayed on her knees at nighttime. Now it's daytime. Let's see if it worked. When mama came in to wake her for school the next morning, Sue rose to find not a trace of daylight in her midnight skin. Sue told Mama everything. See, she ran to her mommy and gave her a hug to tell her. Mama asked, what is your name? Sue, she muttered. And what does it mean? Dog, Sue whispered. See, Sue, she's crying, and Mama's looking sad because she wants to help Sue. But can any of you guys see what kind of necklace she has? It's a star, just like her name.
Brightness is not your skin, my love. Brightness is just who you are. As for beauty, Mama said, rubbing Sulway's stomach the way she always did to comfort her. You are beautiful, Sulway sighed. Well, you are beautiful to me, but you can't rely on what you look like to make you feel beautiful, my love, my sweet. Real beauty comes from your mind and your heart. Where's your heart, guys? There it is, good job. It begins with how you see yourself, not how others see you. Now, up you get and out you go. So he's at school now. How could she, as dark as she was, have brightness in her? She's thinking, see her thinking? Still thinking. Still thinking, see her? She's thinking really hard. How could she have beauty? when no one but her mother seems to see it. Guess what, guys? She's still thinking, huh? How could she be a star? That night, a shooting star appeared at Soy's window. It went shoof all the way around Soy. You see that shooting star? It's big and bright. The night sent me, the star said, come with me. So I hopped onto the star and off they went. Oh, what's going to happen, guys? Look at it zooming through the air, over the clouds and the stars. Long ago, at the beginning of time, said the star. There was night and day and they were sisters. You see night and day? You see their long hairs? And there's their faces? They're sisters. See them now? Look at them, they're both big and beautiful. She has What's that? Diamond shapes. And she has circles. They loved each other very much. That's day. But people didn't treat the sisters the same. And this is night. People gave day pet names like lovely and nice and pretty. And people gave night names like scary and bad and ugly. She felt hurt every time. Well, night got fed up and walked right off the earth. She didn't like being called bad names because it's not nice. They stayed behind and enjoyed making everybody happy in the sun. You see everybody, they got lots of water and plants, and they're talking and dancing. They're happy. But the day grew too long. Now everyone is tired and there's no more water, no more plants, no more talking or dancing. Day began to really miss her sister. So did everybody else. There had to be a way to get her back. See her sister? She's thinking. She's determined. They set off to find night. See, she's set. She's flying. She's going to find her. And she did. Look. You see? She found a piece of her sister, night. I miss you, said Day. I miss you too, said night. But you don't know what it's like to be treated badly for being dark. You, you're right. I don't, 
they replied. But what I do know is that we need you just the way you are. Come and see. See, day and night. What's going to happen? Is she going to come back? I hope she does. I think she did. Because it's nighttime, right, guys? See, the moon is out. Look at all the colors on the plants and the animals and the sky. You can see the stars and the beach. Night returned and the people rejoiced. We need the darkest nights to get the deepest rest. We need you so that we can grow and dream and keep our secrets to ourselves. Everybody was happy now. The star chimed in. Brightness isn't just for daylight. Light comes in all colors. And sunlight can only be seen in the dark. Just like these down here. These jellyfish, the jellyfish and the plants, they can only be seen like that when it's nighttime, guys. While day had a golden glow, with night everything had a silver sheen, elegant and fine. Day told her sister, when you are darkest is when you are the most beautiful. It's when you are most you. Could it be that night did not need to change? Not even a little, not at all? What do you guys think? I think her sister's right. She just stay who she is. Look at them, they're talking. Now that night and day were back together, a little bit of night returned to day in a form of shadows. And a little bit of day returned to night in the form of moonlight. Now look at their dresses. They look different now. And they make star shapes. The circles have the diamonds on it, which makes the stars. They were inseparable from that moment on and promised to celebrate the brightness in each other, whether people chose to see it or not. That's great. You see, the star said, explained, we need them both on their sunniest days and their darkest nights and every shade in between. Together, they make the world we know, light and dark, strong and beautiful. See, it's day over here and it's night over here. Together, it's beautiful. So it rose the next morning, beaming. She's happy, guys. You see how happy she is? There would be no hiding anymore. Look at her mom. She's so surprised. She belonged out in the world, dark and beautiful, bright and strong. And if she ever needed a reminder of her brightness, she could look up at the sky on the darkest nights and see for herself. Sue felt beautiful inside and out. So children, what did you think of the book? It was very beautiful. And you see how no matter what color you are, you are still bright and beautiful, big and strong. So never forget that. NAACP Image Award for Outstanding Literature Work Children category.